Super lovely in Cork, in Cove, not in Cork. Quite lively today. Because the liner is in and the market is on. Very sunny May Bank holiday. Smell hot dogs. I do like Cove. Oh, there's the naval base. There is a lot of sailing boats. Oh. See the liner? Usually they come in the morning and they leave in the evening. I'll try and get up there. It is. The liner is called Amadea and it's about to take off. Look at those lovely ladies dressed in white as back in Titanic time. And actually, I'm standing right outside the museum here. It's probably the best one in Cove. Um, you can learn not only about Titanic history, but um, Lusitania and um, other ships. So, you know, Titanic is not the only ship that sank. Um, a few others sank and you can learn all about it here. It's also a lovely cafe, gift shops and, you know, entry is a little bit expensive uh, compared to other museums, especially in this area, but, uh, uh, you know, if you're interested in ships, <laughs> It's well worth it. So it's a bit of anticipation of the liner to take off. There's of course the famous memorial anymore statue. Something to do with famine. Because a lot of Irish were leaving Cove, getting on to Titanic, um, wanted to immigrate. And this museum also is a part of the Titanic Trail, you could do that. There's a number of um, buildings here and they all marked as um, with a plaque, a little plaque called Titanic. The Lord and Cove actually, you might want to check out my other video that I did. Um, it wasn't done in the summer, so I think this is way nicer. <laughs> so there's also quite a lot of army and I suppose naval um, people living in Cove because of the island, the naval base island, which is right there, cross, and um, yeah, Cove gets very busy in the summer. There's a number of hotels here and luxury and um, guest houses and just the ordinary B&Bs. <clears throat> Lots of lovely restaurants where you can sit out like this, and you know it is a lovely place to be on a sunny day. And there's a naval ship you can see maybe at the background just coming and they do a lovely regatta here in the summer as well I quite like coming down here it's about 40 minutes from my house not close but uh, very reasonable distance liner is leaving
Well, guys, I thought I'd film it because uh, a lot of excitement now, <laughs> especially for kids. Not a little boat. <laughs> it's a lovely day to be on a boat, in all fairness. And there's the Amadea. Lots of people standing on the balconies and probably some of them are gonna wave. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are waving, of course, to the crowd on the board of the liner. Very lovely atmosphere here in Kov. And so the shops and businesses here do really well when the liners come in. <laughs> Coast Guard is on the lookout. <laughs> oh, I gave them a wave as well. Oh, you know that song? Yeah. I'll give you a wave. Yeah, and, uh, you probably never see me anymore in the video, but here I am. And um, it's very, very sunny. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And um, I'm looking forward to the summer in Ireland. <laughs> Yep, Cove, the last stop of Titanic before it sank in 1912. Historic town. It's a very tidy town and a popular choice uh, for commuters to Cork City. There's a train that takes you 22 minutes to get into the Cork City. So, um, and a lovely, lovely place to be on a day like this. Bye bye, liner.